What is up, Peter? This is Midnight Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Zero Escape Virtues Last Reward Blind. In the last episode, a lot went down. Like, a lot went down. Um, especially involving the AB game, the Ambidex game. And we chose to ally with Phi, but there's a lot to look forward to in terms of Clover's results and K's results. And, well, I taunted you guys at the end of last episode. Sorry, not sorry about that cliffhanger. But here we are, we're finally gonna get into the results. I'm super excited. Let's see. Thank you for your participation. Ambidex gates now opening. What are we going to find? Luna and I stepped out of our AB room a little later than the others. They were already gathered in front of the projection, awaiting the announcement of the results. You chose Ally, right? Are you sure that was okay? Yeah. What else was I gonna do? I promised. It'll be fine. I'm sure Fi chose Ally too. Really? <laughs> Luna's a little bit more skeptical. Come on, what's with you? Do you not trust Fi? No, that's not what I mean, it's just... Hmm. Uh, let's just go have a look, shall we? Why are we even talking about this? We'll know what happened in just a few seconds. You're right. Let's go. So Luna's not as trusting as I had expected. Anyways, here we go. Here are the results. Oh man, I'm so nervous. Here we are. Results from round two of the Ambidex game will now be displayed. Here we go, guys. Please direct your attention to the results screen. Oh, they only do the people that voted. Ally, ally, clutch, ally, ally. What? Fi? Ah, Fi, come on. We can never get it right in the Amidex game. We never get it right. What? What? So, all right, so at least K chose ally, lovely. Clover chose ally, lovely. What? Phi chose to betray us. Now Luna, Alice, and Temyoji all have three. Then we have four, and then a whole bunch of other people have sevens and eights. And now Phi has nine. Phi, come on! Come on! I want to have somebody I can lean on in this game. I want to have somebody I can trust. Right now it just seems like it's Luna. Points have been assigned or subtracted accordingly. Please check your bracelet to see your updated bracelet points. Hey! What the heck is this? Why'd you choose Betray? I thought we promised. We? I don't remember that. <laughs> She's gonna pull the, I asked you if you would choose ally, and you promised to choose ally, but I didn't. <laughs> what? You promised me. She's gonna get all the technical oh my god. Fine, <laughs> come on, I thought I had you. You said you'd choose ally. But I don't recall promising you anything. This is probably a bad end where she leaves, because I'm sure she's the type of person that's like, alright, now that I have nine, like, screw you guys, peace, I'm out. I was free to choose whatever I wanted. Hold on. You should have seen this coming. I told you I'd make you pay, and now I am. W hold on a second. <clears throat> hold on a second. Let's see here. Hmm. Where's Phi? Where is Phi? Okay. You're going to choose Ally, right? Yeah, why do you ask? Of course we are. You promise? Sure, I promise. Cross your heart, cross my heart. You're going to be in a world of hurt if you double cross me. So she didn't say she would make us pay. 
just in general, right? It was a, you're gonna be in a world of hurt if you double cross me. We did not double cross her. We should not be in a world of hurt. Huh? I had absolutely no idea what she was talking about. You reap what you sow? What? This is your fault. You chose Betray first. Huh? This is your fault. You chose Betray first. Is Phi experiencing timeline stuff too? I mean, this, this almost confirms it, right? Because up until this point in our playing experience, we have not chosen to betray Phi. First, do you mean in round one? No. I mean the first round two. Uh, have you lost it? Take a real good look at the results up there. This is round two. My vote was ally. Yours was betray. I didn't betray you. I've never betrayed you. Yes, you have. Remember? Don't lie to me, Sigma. What? Drop the act. There's no way you don't know by now. Know about what? What's happening to you? So obviously in one other timeline, we choose to betray her. And so I guess, in like the, the chronology of these timelines, I guess, whatever timeline we chose to betray her takes place before this one. The strange things you've been seeing? Do you mean the premonitions? This is so much, guys. This is so much. So, so Phi is aware that our premonitions and everything going on are stuff from previous timelines or other timelines, not even necessarily previous from our current perspective, right? And she's aware that we're seeing them. And she must be seeing them too. We're remembering other timelines if she knows and is so adamant about us choosing Betray first. What's odd, though, is that each of these timelines is kind of like one person exacting revenge on the other, which means that other people are experiencing other timelines that we currently haven't experienced yet. And so there's this weird, just like, mess of people experiencing one timeline and then interacting with somebody in a current timeline who hasn't experienced that other timeline that they just came from, right? So when you're making what your actions off of another timeline that another person in your current timeline it did not come from, and they're making their own actions from a completely different timeline. It's like, oh, that's such a mess. It's so difficult to organize. I wanted to say it, but as the word formed itself in my mouth, I felt a tingle along the back of my neck. Someone was looking at me. I turned around to see Luna, Clover, and Kay. What are the two of you talking about? It's nothing. Forget about it. I'm afraid it's not that simple. You were the only person who chose to betray this round. Is there some connection to what you and Sigma were discussing? Yes, there is a connection. But you wouldn't believe me. Why? So they're taking a... So Phi is also experiencing this phenomenon, potentially, or at the very least understands what Sigma is going through and believes it, even though she might not have gone through it herself. I, I think she's actually experiencing the similar phenomenon. You don't know that. We might believe a lot. Phi looked away and scowled. For several long moments, her eyes stared off into the distance, and I could also see her mind working. Finally, she sighed and spoke. Right. Well, I've got nine points now. So sorry, but I'm out of here. Fi! Now I hate you too! <laughs> Come on! Ah, oh, really? Huh? 
What do you mean? Do I really have to explain it? I'm leaving through the number nine door. Hey, wait. I mean, for all we know, everybody could try to block her off, but I scrambled around in front of her and threw my arms out. You're in my way. Move. No. I'm not letting you go. What happened to you? I didn't think you were the kind of person who ditched the rest of us so you could get away. When someone betrays your trust, it feels like a part of you dies. For me, I guess it was the part that cared. I don't think you have even the slightest idea what that feels like. I think I'm getting a taste of it now. Betrays your... Wait, are you saying... Whatever. Just get out of my way. I'm curious, in another timeline, do we kill Fi? No, I'm not moving. I see. Then you leave me no choice. Scalpel? As she spoke, Fi bent down. She does her, like, massive jump again. Then shot up into the air and over my head. I spun around to see her standing next to the number 9 door. Her hand on the lever. You... Nice try. She grinned and tightened her grip on the lever. What? What the heck's that? It's Latin. Applaud. The play has ended. That's what it means. Latin? This is so... <laughs> interesting. Part of what's interesting, though, as well, is to see how, to a certain extent, just in our own second timeline, we are making decisions based on what we're experiencing from other timelines, and other people might be, like, fine. But this also just leads to a cycle of trying to get revenge on each other, right? Of saltiness. And it, it's going to be tempting, you know, in a future timeline to try to act differently around Phi. But I think we're just going to have to continue to show whatever kindness we can. See you later. Wait. Stop. A bolt of searing light roared through my brain. When I came to, I was floating in a field of nothingness. Oh, I knew it! I knew it was a 2v continued. What? So now we're potentially getting a premonition of... something. Or that means that's truly the end of the line for that, you know, that route. Interesting. Very interesting. How do we stop Phi? So we're going to get a premonition from another timeline of how we can stop Phi, and then we do stop Phi. And that's going to lead to a particular ending that <laughs> we're very close to. Very, very interesting. So obviously in AB game round two, we can choose to betray. I'm tempted to, because that's, you know, the most recent set of events we've worked through, go back to this and choose Betray. But what an ending, or what a route. I, I, I like this one a lot, actually. There was a lot of character development, still a lot of the crisis. I'm glad we got to do another AB game. I think every single AB game allows us to learn so much about the other characters and their own thought processes, their own, you know, values. And... It informs how they're probably going to act in other ones. However, we don't know that for sure, right? Because we're already seeing the fact that we've now gone through this timeline is going to change how other people acted in the past. We're going to go to other timelines and assume that they're going to act the same way they did in this timeline, and they're not going to. And that's because we've been through this timeline already, which is weird. But anyways, let's jump back here and we'll choose Betray. And I'm sure that, <laughs> I'm sure that in this case, Phi is going to choose Ally because that's just the type of game it has been so far. I'm very curious. So we'll choose Skip. Um, we've heard Luna's explanation. Luna's not quite as trusting as I had expected, but let's see what happens when we click Betray. Supposedly, this is the vote we made first, or... Phi is not actually referring to this betray, and instead a betray in a different timeline that was much more drastic. But anyways, 
Luna and I stepped out of our AV room a little later than the others. They were already gathered, yada yada yada. So... You chose Betray. Yeah. Did you do it to protect yourself? Were you worried that Fi might choose Betray? That's a good question. Huh? I'm honestly not sure myself why I did it. Interesting. Interesting! Ah, oh, this game messes with you so much! This game really does mess with you. Because you put yourself in Sigma's shoes, right? And you're like, why did I do it? And from Sigma's perspective, he's like, I don't really know. I had this inspiration because of these experiences from another timeline I can't directly recall right now, but they're influencing my decisions. Even though we kind of got a more sincere, earnest look at what Sigma would do in the previous timeline we were just in, right? It's so interesting. I feel like playing through this game, really thinking about each decision, and saying, what would I do in this situation? What is my first choice? And then going with that is making each su subsequent timeline we go through that much more rewarding because it's making you question, oh, that's what Sigma would have really done. And so now you're being like, wait, why am I doing the thing I didn't do, right? Or the thing that seems like I shouldn't be doing. And it messes with you as the player. Well, we should go see the results. I want to see how Kay and Clover voted. Right. Let's go, then. I wonder if they'll vote the same. I would think they would, but again, future changes the past. So it's not a guarantee that they will. Results from round two of the Ambidex game will now be displayed. Here we go, guys. Please direct your attention to the results screen. Again, I love this artwork. Okay. Ally, ally, good. Ally, ally, good. Betray. Ally, I knew it! I knew it! I knew it, guys! I knew it! That's the kind of game... This game is Virtue's Last Reward. I knew you'd do this to me. I knew you couldn't let me feel good at any moment. If I choose to betray, you're going to make me feel like crap by having my opponent choose ally. If I choose ally, you're going to have my opponent betray me because, God forbid, I feel good about my decision. <laughs> I knew it. Points have been assigned or subtracted accordingly. <laughs> Please check your bracelet to see your updated bracelet points. Well played, Sigma. I guess a promise means a lot to you. I'm sorry, Fi. Sorry. We didn't do this first, though. I had nothing to say. She was right, I'd broken a promise. Why did you do it? Nothing to say? I guess I misjudged you. I thought you were better than this. That was not a smart move, Sigma. I won't forget this. I'll make sure you pay, even if it's the last thing I do. Interesting. So there is... So this is obviously the one that they almost expect the player to get first. So then... You go from this timeline to the one we were just doing, and that's what she meant by she'll make us pay. It is good to know that this confirms, though, that Phi remembers these other timelines. Phi is aware of it all. Interesting. Excuse me? What's that? A Latin proverb. What does it mean? Not even Jupiter can find a lost opportunity. Hmm? Not even Jupiter can find a lost opportunity. To be honest, I don't really get it. Jupiter is a Roman god, yes. Actually, he's kind of the Roman god. He's in charge of all the others. Hmm. 
Not even Jupiter, the ruler of the gods, can take back what's been done. I see. You did something bad. You're not going to get a chance to take it back. Interesting. Part of what's got me curious is... Phi is also somewhat experiencing these timelines in an order. And it's clear that... She hadn't experienced this other timeline we just did prior to this one. Right? Because if so, she would have probably chosen Ally. But at the same time, she only had the other... Ex we only had the other timeline and Phi's results in that timeline because of this timeline. This is so... So perplexing. I turned away from Phi. I couldn't stand to look at her anymore. In front of me were Kay and Clover. Their eyes bored into me with cold disapproval, and I looked away. They both chose an ally as promised. The only person who betrayed anyone was me. The only person with 9 BP was me. Little wonder I wasn't very popular. What do you intend to do? You aren't thinking about trying to open the number 9 door, are you? I mean, if I had the choice, and I don't think I do, I would choose not to. For a moment, I considered the unthinkable. Could I break through them and reach the door? Once I was through, I'd be out of the game and free from their judgment. But... No, I couldn't do that. How could I possibly justify leaving them all behind so I could escape on my own? Why had I chosen Betray? In my memory, it seemed like an almost flippant choice, as if I'd just been curious to see what would happen. <laughs> if Betrayal was what I wanted, I should have made that choice with commitment. Interesting. The game is obviously aware of the player's intentions and, and the idea of testing different timelines simply out of curiosity, which is what I would put this particular timeline in. I made my most sincere choice, I'm just now curious to see what this timeline would be. But there I was, and I couldn't turn back. Even if I didn't try to open the number 9 door, they would all be suspicious of anything I did. Trust is easy to break and hard to repair. Unless I could somehow turn back the clock, I was stuck with the consequences of my actions. Hmm. How could I do something that was beyond the reach of a god? Why hadn't I just chosen an ally? What would be happening to me right now? What if... What if... What if... Then Fi spoke, and I blinked. Sigma. Sigma. We're just doing this to be safe. Oh no! We can't just let you run around with 9 BP. I'm afraid you're going to have to sleep for a little while. Okay? Huh? Oh, and here comes the gas. I started to turn around, but it was already too late. I felt a heavy hand slam into the back of my neck. And then everything went dark. Game over! Not to be continued, but game over. Yikes. Alright, well, um... I guess we got that ending. <laughs> right? Yes, we did. So that's a bad end. I'm glad we didn't get that naturally. But it is interesting that this bad end being directly tied or paired with that branch we just were in seems to have influenced it, right? Well, where do we want to start from again now? So, control room after the escape, AB game round two, etc. Let's go back here. Into the CDs. What's over this way? What did we choose? So, if we were to choose a different one altogether. So not the red door, right? This is still in the betray round, so where Alice is going to have one point, and we're sitting pretty well. But what happens if we choose the red door, we go to the control room, we find the PDA device with the wire, we also learn about what happened in the archives with the rules about the game. The archives happen, period. And we also learned 
that Dio is super sus and not to be trusted and started the Ambidex game. And then what else did we learn from here? Oh, we, we also learned that a bomb was planted in the garden, which we did not find in our previous timeline. And we don't really know who could have planted it. So I guess at this point, we just choose a different chromatic door, don't we? And then we progress along this timeline and we'll have another Ambidex game, it seems. Oh boy. Um, let's give it a go. I actually, I do briefly want to take a look. So we'll skip this for the time being. This is what we just recently analyzed. Alice is going to choose, I believe. But as far as how I felt about that, yes, normally I said I was okay. I do want to take a look at the flowchart really quickly. If we go down this route, we potentially have some really long routes up ahead. In almost every other route, we get to a second... Or no, in a bunch of the other routes, we get to a second AB game. Interesting. But not necessarily all of them. Or I think all of them eventually. Some of them it looks like maybe even a third AB game. But regardless, we will, uh, we'll see. We will say no. We will adamantly refuse. No. No, that's not okay. Why not? Because. Ugh. Oh no, this is bad. Yeah, we, I mean, we know it's not okay because neither of the timelines that, well, happen as a result of us saying it's okay are very, uh, well, great right now. Which door do you want then? The only other choices are A and C. And I thought about it again. If I went with A, then Luna and I would end up paired with Clover and we'd go through the green door. On the other hand, if I chose C, we'd be going through the blue door with Alice. So which one did I want? I decided to go with... Interesting. Very, very interesting. So with where we are, it looks like there's only one choice. Right? Or would this take us back, if we were to choose the blue door, would that take us to that point on that flowchart? I would bet that that's the case, so let's choose the green door. With Clover. I want option A. We'll take Clover and go through the green door. What gives you the power to just decide that? Fine by me. Like I said before, there's something I want to talk to Alice about. Yes, that's right! Now we get to see what the results of that conversation are. Are you going to tell me what this thing is? That'll have to wait. Talk to me again on the other side. Now I'm curious. <laughs> so you're fine with this, Alice? With option A, I mean? Do whatever you want. I don't care. Are there any other objections? Yeah, I mean, now in this timeline, we are sort of establishing this persona for Sigma that is one of a bit of a bully, right? Of not really being willing to compromise and instead asserting what he wants and, and, and getting it. It's worth being cognizant of going forward. Okay, that's it then. Let's go, everybody. Ten seconds remain until chromatic doors close. We nodded quickly to one another and split up. Tenmyoji, Dio, and Alice headed toward the red door. Interesting, so I got I gotta remember this, right? The previous timeline was Dio and Temyoji and Clover, and Alice, Kay, and Quark. This time around we have Temyoji, Dio, and Alice. Huh. So if Alice is prob I mean probably Alice is still going to be infected with Radical Six, and we're gonna have to contend with her absence in the upcoming A B game, potentially. Dio and Temyoji are then thus 
also going to have a lot to deal with, right? Because Temyoji's gonna wanna stay with Quark, Alice is gonna be knocked out, Dio might potentially be the only one voting. With K, Quark, and Phi, if Quark is out, K and Phi are gonna be left voting against each other, which I don't know how that's going to go. Again, I don't necessarily trust Phi. I want to, I really want to, but I don't. But anyways, they're gonna be in the blue door, which I think should be the garden, right? And Temyoji, Dio, and Alice should be in the red door, which I thought would be the control room. However, we've confirmed from the previous playthrough that people end up in different rooms, um, even though even if they go through the same chromatic doors. So it's not a guarantee by any means. The gaping maw of the green door bounced in front of me as Clover, Luna, and I ran toward it. Chromatic doors closing. Huh? Is this a dead end? All three doors seem to be locked. Yeah. There's some kind of device over here. I wonder what it is. It looks like the thing next to the number 9 door. Clover, try pulling that lever. Why do I have to do it? Yeah, it might be dangerous. I was hoping you could just wrap your hands around it and give it a good jerk. It is kind of big, but I'm sure you can handle it. Just be gentle. Uh, this doesn't seem like appropriate workplace behavior. Yeah, I'm not, not, I don't know if that was what maybe the game or Clover are suggesting, but not, not very cool, Sigma. You're kind of grossing me out. I know you probably still think of yourself as just a girl, but you have to become a woman some Sigma, you're... You need to get slapped. You're not making it any better. Why don't you do it? Yeah, why don't you uh, cut the sexual harassment and instead do something about the situation yourself? If you can't take it, then maybe Luna can. Have you done this before? You just start at the base and work your way up, and then give it a good tongue once you get to the top. What? Sigma, cut it out right now! <laughs> what is wrong with you? If you're so desperate to give that lever a good time, why don't you do it yourself? Just leave me and Luna out of your sick fantasies, you creep. It's kind of interesting, right? We are obviously the protagonist, and Sigma is somewhat of a proxy for the player. But Sigma would not be a very likable character if Sigma were not the protagonist's vehicle, right? They are, interestingly enough, their own character, even though they are the lens for the protagonist, or for the player. Um, but yeah, he's not really, not really making a good name for himself. Hmm. Fine. But I won't like it. I sighed heavily and flipped the switch with as much languid disdain as I could manage. Yeah, so these levers seem to be pretty key, right? We don't know why they're opening the specific doors they are, but this is what accounts for, well, different rooms being made available behind even the same chromatic door. Oh. One of the doors opened, and we're not going to be going in the treatment center, it seems. Yeah, just the one on the left. Hmm, we might as well go through it. Yeah. Maybe we should try flipping it one more time, though. Think you could actually manage it with just one hand, Clover? Just do it real fast, it'll only take a second. Just up and down. Seriously, Sigma? Oh, you were disgusting. Clover shouldn't have to put up with that, Sigma. Come on. So let's see, where do we end up? The archives. Okay, so we saw the archives. Now we're actually going to have the chance to explore them in their fullest. Although we already have a little bit of the reward ruined for us, right? A note from Zero detailing more rules. Huh. It is a very cool looking room. Huh. 
So, this is the archives. That's what it said on the door, after all, but... I didn't really expect it to be so archive-y. All these books and stuff everywhere. Maybe we can find some clues here. I agree. Yeah, I guess that's worth noting, right? There might be some books of interest that detail a little bit, that will further inform the characters for whatever decisions they have to make going forward. Alright, let's split up and have a look around. Alonz? Alonzi? Alonzi? I don't get it. Alright, so we're in the archives and we need to seek a way out. Unfortunately, this episode is going to be a little bit shorter, but I think this is a good place to call it for the time being. So in the next episode, we're going to explore the archives, investigate this lion in the top right corner. It is actually pretty interesting. Um, oh man, I got some dialogue. Looks like these books are in Latin. Can you read it? No, I'm sorry. You uh, don't need to apologize for that. What about you, Clover? Of course not. Okay. This lion in the top right corner, I remember from seeing the solved room that that was on the little safe uh, next to the door. So I wonder actually if, you know, the game is taking the theme of the future changing the past, right? Utilizing premonitions from the future or from other timelines to influence your actions and other ones to the extent of saying you will get glimpses of this solved rooms and you will potentially use those glimpses to influence how you go about solving the rooms in other timelines, which would be really cool, actually. But as I was saying, I'm going to have to cut this episode a little bit short. I think this is a good breaking point. In the next episode, we're going to go through and solve the archives, see what all the shenanigans that happen afterwards. Clearly, things can differ quite a bit from timeline to timeline, and this particular episode was really exciting to see the results of the Ambidex game. Feel absolutely awful about our decisions either way, because, you know, shout out to Zero Escape. And... My voice needs some rest. I'm really enjoying this game. I want to record as much as I can, but I can only record so much before I can feel the strain on my voice. So, my apologies. Gonna get some sleep and look forward to playing more of the game tomorrow. If you guys are looking forward to watching. But until the next episode, this has been Moon Knight Zero, and this mission is complete.